Devontae Adams mm. getting traded to the Jets. Who obviously lost to the Bills. They should have won that game. Yeah. I don't know how the Jets lost that game. I was I actually watched the whole thing. I actually stayed up and watched the whole thing and it was a case of field goals. Yeah. Zerland. Yeah. Doink, doink. Doink. Yeah. But then I also the uh, Bills kicker missed one. He did. So it was like, okay, cool. What's his name? Tyler Bass? Yeah. Like so they he they missed two. They miss one. They make the one. So they, it would pro- probably end up going to overtime. No, but was... weren't the one that Bass missed was the extra point. Oh, yeah. When a field goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, the extra right. point And the commentator absolutely killed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. But no, the game in general, sloppy though. A very sloppy, sloppy game of football. A load of penalties. Yeah. I watched the first half then. I watched the rest of the game. Uh, not on my, on my way here, innit? So. Yeah. Load, a load of penalties. Everything was being called as a penalty. I was thinking, refs, please. Just stop at this point. Like, but some of them were so blatant that you couldn't even not call them. Yeah. It was like, okay, cool. Even if you didn't want to call it, come on now. You're being silly. And I don't know. I don't know. The Jets should have won the game, I feel. Yeah. But I don't know about the Jets this year. Because obviously they've had the madness. We obviously didn't speak about it last week because we weren't here. The, they've sacked their head coach. After two and three records. After three, two and three yeah, records. But he was two and three last year with Zach Wilson. Yeah. So what's changed? They've obviously changed. Um, they demoted Nathaniel Hackett from being OC. I saw that. To, I don't know. I what, don't, even, don't know. even know what his role is. I just is heard now. it on one of the shows. <laughs> and don't I don't even was know like, where? They demoted him, um, but he's still part of the organization. Yeah. So it's a case of what's actually going on. And obviously, they thought they were a quarterback away. Aaron Rodgers hasn't been playing up to Aaron Rodgers' standards, or even. We always said he has to play okay. For he had a good play. game yesterday. There was a lot of drops. Though, yes. On his behalf. But that was his first real. Good game, as I can say for the Jets. I think he had another one on the Thursday night. The second win, it might have been the Patriots one. Yeah, that was the Thursday night. The Thursday night game. Yeah, yeah. but he he was good, very good then as well. I also said it was the Patriots. Yeah, well, they're known to have a good defense, but they are. But I I said it's the Patriots, so I was like, okay, cool. Let me see how you perform against the Bills. The Bills aren't great either. Yeah, but. They're in your division. But they got after him as well. They did. He took some hits. Really did. Really <laughs> like did. Like his O-line was not... Non-existent. Non- <laughs> <laughs> like I said, fair play to him. 40 years old and taking those hits. Because mm-hmm. there was one he just looked like. He said, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck this. <laughs> Non-existent. They were blindside. They were just... They were, he was getting killed off the edge. But he stood in the pocket as Aaron Rodgers does. He delivers. He had a good game. He had a good game. Obviously, the helmet. There was a lot, a few drop catches as well. Yeah, the Hail Mary as he always produces. Only you know. Him, bruv. So, yeah, no, nah, it, it was, it felt like Aaron Rodgers was in his groove yesterday, mm-hmm. but they still didn't get the result. Yeah. So, they've traded. It was a divisional game as well, big. Exactly. So, but they traded for Devontae. So, Devontae is that. Devontae Adams. Is that what gets them back into the 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 straight and narrow and the path that they should be or not? Well, I mean, like, because now they've got a great receiving core. Because mm. whether he's 1A or and Garrett Wilson's 1B or vice versa, yeah. those two, then you've still got Lazard, Lazard who Rogers loves. Mm-hmm. Um, like, Lazard dropped so many catches last week. Yeah. He caught the touchdown, but he literally dropped like four or five catches mm-hmm. that week pretty straightforward and then Mike Williams who's a big target receiver it's just how he's utilized Mm. Um, because I saw people saying it looked like Rogers was blaming Mike Williams for the inception no I think so yeah Yeah. and stuff like that and I'm like boy like we saw how effective Mike Williams was when he was with the Chargers when Mm. he's healthy yeah because he used to beat down the Chiefs back end because he's just a target receiver bro that like, used to be like Kelvin Benjamin, just yeah, big body. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Put up in the air, him, Mike Evans, those type of guys. Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing it home. Mm-hmm. So, receiving core wise, it's, it's serious now. Yeah. It's serious. They've got a very good, well, I say very good, but a good running game, young mm. running game in terms of Bruce Hall and something, Allen, I forgot his yeah. name. first name, sorry. I wouldn't say Braden, but. Like, yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. And like, he's just come out of nowhere. Obviously, um, Hall, the eyes were on him but Allen's just doing his thing so like skill wise offensively they've got weapons and their defense has generally played good this season mm. so <sighs> but they're two and four that's the thing they are two and four so that's where my mind is at. I'm like uh, 
The trade's good. I like it. I like Devonte Adams. Obviously, mm. he's gonna have that connection with Aaron Rodgers. But is it that was the best connection in football? Quarterback to yeah. receive a connection for years. It was. <laughs> it was. And then, but uh, and I don't think it'll take them a long time to get back on the same page. Yeah. But it's a case of is it just a little bit too late? Not just, just, I'm just talking about in general for the Jets. Is it just Aaron Rodgers is, okay, cool. Do you, do you mean late in terms of their season or late at the stage of their careers? Aaron Rodgers' careers. Yeah. We don't know if Devontae's going downhill yet. Obviously, he, yeah. he's benefited the doubt is he didn't have good quarterbacks at the Raiders. Mm-hmm. And he was, I think his first year, he was still putting up great numbers. Right, right, right. Do you know what I mean? So That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying in the careers, careers wise, is it a case of it's, it's too late? Because it's not late, the vi- like, AFC wise, no, no, no. Because no. the AFC, it looks like a lot of teams are just gonna go in with not a lot, but a few teams might go in with a nine eight record, yeah, and win or a ten seven record. Yeah. Like is the AFC tight, whereas like the NFC North, you've got everyone's on four wins in yeah, the yeah. NFC North. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So like the Bengals might sneak in with two, with their two and four at yeah. the moment. Obviously, we'll talk about them later, but like the Jets in terms of record wise. Mm. They have a chance. They do. They do have a chance. I'm not. I, I just think, like, in terms of the Super Bowl that they think they were going to win, I don't think that window is even yeah. even there. And how often we're going to see Aaron Rodgers have very good games? This is that a thing. is it. I, it's like I feel like it's one in four, one in three, maybe one in three, maybe one. Yeah. In four. Whereas before it was one in one, one in one, yeah, one in two, that's one in one, one in one, one, one in two. two. <laughs> so it, that's the thing. Didn't he? He's. Not the, his final year, Green Bay, but the year before that, the back to back MVPs. Yeah, when they're thirteen and three both years, yep. <laughs> so. running the table, they were he threw little to no interceptions, yeah. and now this year he's thrown as more interceptions than he's thrown in in like three years that he was in. Yeah, it's mad. Green so, Bay in I think one he's had four in two games. This is the yeah. thing. That's not like him at all. That's what I'm saying. Is it is it too late? Because even last week's game, we didn't get to speak about that. The London game mm. against the Vikings, he fought. Like mm. he was getting he was getting hits that game and mm-hmm. Rogers fought like just again Lazard dropped a lot of balls mm-hmm. um because the Vikings their offense weren't great they no. often scored like sixteen points I yeah think. the defense and, yeah. made up for a lot of their and their offense has been scoring like twenty eight minimum yeah. or or averaging around that and stuff like that and that I was like and Rod- even though they lost like. Aaron Rodgers is he's he's fighting he's trying mm. whether him and Salah get along. I, that's why I was surprised Salah got sacked at, after that game. I was mm. like two and three, but then obviously the Jets owner used to be the um, <laughs> US ambassador to the UK. Yeah, so, so Lou's getting his ass kicked like that in the UK. The concept saying, "Oh, yeah. he's getting his ass kicked to his UK friends," yeah, because like, he would have probably had a big con- mm. contingent and stuff like that. So I was just like, yeah, I, the, I I was very skeptical on the Jets before the season. I didn't think I had them to make. The playoffs. I think I might have had them third in the division. So. I think I had them to make the playoffs you over did. the Bills. Yeah. Right now, I still they both the teams are. I'm just looking at that division like, well, yeah, makes it makes it. 